Marker is what we refer to most commonly as hot spots. It's when you look at a photo and there are areas marked on the photo and when you hover over it, it will display some tooltip or information. And that is what a hotspot is. We usually use the term hotspots. It's something that is more commonly used. But here with the element pack add-on by BD Themes for Elementor, we call it marker. Let's have a look at how this widget works. Type in marker in your search bar and then you will grab this little, little marker with the pin and drag it. For this, you will need a image. So let's grab an image over here. And then you will see we've got these three little markers over here. And the first thing you'll need to do is go and position them at the right areas that you would like them to be. Marker image. And then let's first go to the markers. Marker one. The X position to the left means left and to the right means right. Y position to the left means up and to the right means down. Let's put this one over the tomatoes. Okay. And then we give it a name. We call it tomato freshness, tomato, tomato freshness. And you can do the placement of your tooltip at this moment. If I click on it, well, where it is bottom. What is this one left? I don't see anything change, right? Still don't change. Say left. Let's take the tooltip away and see what happens first. Okay, bring back the tooltip to the left. Let's update it. Often you need to go look on the front end. There we go. Tomato freshness pops up to the left. Okay, so remember to do that. Let's look at the bottom. Again, it will just do that. Let's update it. Now, ta -da, there we go. It's at the bottom. Let's do the same with the other ones for marker number two. Let's put it over the lettuce. Remember, we are now at marker number two. So it should be this one. Okay, down. There we go. And then the position a little bit there. And we call it lettuce for fiber. And then we can put that one at the bottom. Let's update and view. There we go. Those are the hotspots or the markers. When you hover over it, you click on it. Click no, only hover seems to work. We can check that now in the settings. And then for marker number three, let's do the same. We call this cheese. Magnificent, magnificent cheese, magnifi spelling, magnificent, magnificent. Thank you. And we have to bring our X position. It's more or less the same Y position. Bring it down. Then our X position a little bit to the left. And then we say our tooltip to the right, just so. We can have some variety. Update it. Let's go have a look. And it's to the right. And you can then go and add a fourth marker. And this one, let's put that on our pure beef. Y position down. And we say 100% pure. Wait for it, soya. Oh, yes. You didn't see that one coming, right? And we can put that to the left and update it. I have no idea. I don't think soya looks like that or soya burger looks like that. Okay. I don't eat soya burger, so I don't know. Maybe you can make a soya burger looks like that. Let's go look at the marker image. You can align the image inside the frame. Keep it in the middle. You can add a caption if you want to. Ingredients of love. It's place here at the bottom. You have animation. Scale. Now if I hover over 
You see those little thingies? I think that's what it does. Let me see perspective. Or maybe it's on the load. Let's go update it and just see what it does. Oh, it's the little circles around it. Okay. And then you have... Uh, what is this offset? No idea what is this for. Offset. 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 Update. Learn as we go, right? Hmm. Not in entirely sure what the offset is doing and then there is an arrow ah okay let me see it again trigger on click let's <laughs> update all of this i'm pressing all these features and i'm not entirely sure what they are doing i'm trying to figure it out trigger on click okay i like oh, okay there is the offset now i get it the offset is how far away from the, the marker this one will display. So your tooltip has now been offset all the way down here. This is on your Y axis. And then now, if you click on it, you will see, shoo, that's quite a big offset, right? And then the arrow is this little thingy that has been activated here. All right, you see, we shall persevere let's reduce our offset to zero zero well let's make it something like five and five give it a little bit and update it and then it should be closer now click is it updating it's updating okay click there it's closer and you see my little arrow i like the click function more than i like the hover up option don't know why that's just my preference I every time I do a tutorial and there is a click and a hover I prefer the click right and then naturally you are going to be able to go and style it you have your caption styling that you can do here at the bottom I'm gonna align it then your marker you can change that color. In this case, I like the orange. Yellow is also eye-catching. Then the color for the little plus in the middle. You can also increase the size. A little bit crazy. Add a border type if you want to. And then also for your tooltip. Right, let's update it. This one you have to go look at the front end. Tooltip is still very small. Let's see if we can make that a little bit bigger. Change a few settings here. Let's make the text color white. Update. Ah, much better. Now my poor eyes can see much, much better. Okay, so we've really taken this image and really given it some style here with these hotspots or markers that we can add to them. And if you have something like this with a product or, you know, um, assembly of many things and you want to point out the different parts of it, then the hotspots or this marker add-on is a very ideal function to have. And you've got all these styling options really, really useful. This is then the marker add-on by BD Themes Element Pack add-on for both the Pro and Free versions of Elementor.